Athletics, and today I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks to properly mount a wheel on a, on a drivetrain. During competitions, these robots um, get hit a lot, and they have a lot of they give a lot of stress to the wheels. And I'm just going to give some hints to make sure your drivetrain is stable during competitions. Tip number one: You have your typical wheel assembly here, but when you're assembling it onto the robots, uh, we almost never directly attach the motors to the wheel axles itself. Uh, this is because it causes unnecessary problems with the gearing of the drivetrain and uh, with the motor's gearbox. Instead, you could uh, attach a gear uh, and gear it up with the motor uh, axle, or you can attach a sprocket and chain it up with the motor axle. Uh, tip number two. The standard Tetrix kits gives you these 4.75 millimeter axles, but we noticed that throughout the competition, these thin axles bend, which causes problems for the drivers and the functionality of the robot. That's why we like to use these thicker 6 millimeter axles from the Tetrix Prime kit, or these even longer 6 millimeter axles from Antimark. Tip number three. These small set screws are critical in making sure the wheel doesn't fall apart during competitions. So we like to use something called type 222 low strength Loctite, and making sure these are attached properly to the motor hubs. So I'll be applying some Loctite to, uh, for you right now. You put it on a standard hex key and you apply a dab of the Loctite onto the set screw and you make sure it's spread evenly across the set screw. All right. Now you have the set screw uh, drenched in Loctite so you take your standard motor hub and you just screw it in. This Loctite functions as like a metal glue and making sure this set screw doesn't loosen during competitions. So tip number four, we always want to make sure our set screws are uh, attached properly. Uh, and then during the heat of competition and uh, where there's a lot of uh, low visibility going on, it's kind of hard to see where the flat part of the axle is when you're attaching it to a wheel. So what we do is we attach the first set screw to the flat part. And even if you can't see where the flat part is for the second and third of the other collars, you could just align the set screws with each other and this ensures that the set screws are uh, in flush with the, with the flat part of the axle and this makes sure that the motor hubs don't fall apart. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For more information, please go to our website hotwirerobotics.org for more information, videos, and material.